What is YouTube in today's banger video? We did bring you guys the best settings in Warzone Season 5 because it is, you know, it's it's mid season right now. You could say that. Um, and we did want to bring you guys the best settings for mid season. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button for your boy. Let's see if we can break 250 likes. All right, I really appreciate it. I know you can hit that like goal, man. 250 likes, that's our like goal for today's video. I know you can hit it. And if you haven't already, man, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because we post bangers like this every single day. We do COD class setups, tips and tricks, all that good stuff, man. So make sure you hit the subscribe button with the Nerdy Bell turned on. Uh, this is a settings video, so let's get right on to the best settings. Um, I'm on PC right now, but these are controller settings. Um, the only bad thing is for console players, they don't have the FFA yet, but hopefully they'll be getting that soon. Any, everything else is basically for all console players. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the settings. In general, of course, we're on PC, so we're going to be using the controller. Field of View 120 controller players don't have this. I'm just going to skip forward for because you, you've already heard what FFV is. Yeah, you can see more. Um, for uh, console players, you've only got a 80 FOV, which is it is a bit annoying, but hey, there's a lot of goaded console players out there, and I know who I'm talking to right now. Dupa. Dupa is an amazing console player. Um, but yeah, the console players got 80 FOV. I'm 120 with affected uh, field of view. The brightness, we do have a 58 brightness. This is just personal preference, guys. Um, horizontal and vertical, I have um, 100 for the display. Um, skip introduction, just, you know, it's a bit annoying, so I'd like to skip that. Um, Tooltips is disabled, subtitles is disabled. Um, we do use the colorblind Trinopia to have that, like, it looks really amazing um, in my videos. That's why you know, I've been getting a lot of comments on, you know, why does your gameplay look so amazing? It's because I'm on the colorblind Trinopia, man. It looks really good. Uh, you must try it out, man. It looks amazing. Um, colorblind target is interface. Um, on demand texture streaming is disabled. I do not use that map. You need to use square, guys. Uh, in square, you can see more of the mini map. Um, the circle is just the um, default one. Put on square, guys. All right. Minimap rotation is enabled. Um, compass, cardinal, direction is lettuce. This is um, personal preference as always. If you want numbers, it's at the top there. As you can see, it's 270 instead of the west. But I do use letters, man. Okay. Uh, text chat behavior is off. New message sound alert is disabled. Text chat is enabled. You know, so you can talk to people down bottom right. Um, text chat profanity filter is enabled. Um, Disembarment and uh, gore effects is enabled. You know, you want to see that gore effects have that beautiful quality frame this is all pc stuff now frame per second enabled server latency enabled all that's good stuff man um this is all pc stuff okay we've done the general now for the graphics is all pc stuff as well so if, yeah um, if you don't have this just skip uh, through the video um so we do use uh full screen as the display mode um i do think this is the best okay some people say use full uh, screen borderless but what i've noticed is when you do do use full screen borders it's actually a bit blurry in the middle of the screen um the only downside uh, uh, with full screen is when you alt tab your obs and stuff it does take a while to get back like five seconds full screen you can literally click alt tab and you're back in obs it's really fast um but yeah i use that screen refresh rate is 165 i do have an asus vg328 display monitor and a nvidia geforce rtx 3060 um display adapter uh, my render resolution is at 100 advance is at 1600 and 900 um, the aspect ratio is on automatic, so this is all just personal preference for you guys, man. This is easily, though, the best settings in the game, so you have to drop a like for that one, man. I don't know what you're doing. Um, sync, uh, every frame, V-Sync is disabled. We don't need that. Custom frame rate limit is uh, sort of PC stuff again. It's custom and video highs to save. You don't want that for PC players. Every time you get a kill, it will come up. I think it's the top left or top right. Say so highlight, you know, you've gotten a kill, and then it just saves your computer. It's really annoying. So I definitely have that disabled. It's really, really frustrating. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, we do have that enabled. Um, display Gamma is 2.2 uh, sRGB. Um, the stream quality, so this is, um, my, my PC can handle it, right? If your PC can't handle it, you put everything at low, right? But I've got everything at high because my PC can handle um, this type of quality. Um, so for the streaming quality, we do have a normal. Text, uh, resolution is at high. Texture uh, filter, anistrophic is at high. Um, the particle quality is also on high. Bullet impact is disabled. You don't want to say that's just a distraction, guys, right? Just want to disable that. Tessellation is disabled also because that's a distraction, as you can see in the right picture. It does pop out a bit. You want that disabled, man, right? You really do want that disabled. Um, on demand texture streaming is disabled. Shadow map resolution is on low. You don't want that high because that looks really trash, all right? You want that on low. Cache spot shadow is disabled. You want all shadows disabled because, again, it's a distraction and it, it actually is a bit annoying. So you want to disable both of them. Particle lighting is low, again, distraction. Um, direct X ray tracing is disabled. Ambient occlusion, I think that's how you say it. I don't know, is disabled. <laughs> Screen uh, space reflection, SSR, is disabled. 
Uh, filmic strength um, is at zero. Nvidia DLSS is disabled. Anti uh, aliasing is f uh, filmic um, SMAA2. X T2X um, depth of field is disabled. Well, you want this disabled, man. This is a huge distraction, guys. When you're playing uh, games, you definitely don't want to blur, man. Yeah, man, you definitely don't want world motion blur, man. It is a very, very big blur. You definitely don't want that. And the same with weapon blur. Definitely want, uh, don't want that either. Um, film grain is at zero. Dynamic resolution is disabled, and the dynamic resolution frame rate target is at 100 now. Let's get into the audio settings so you can hear the best footsteps in the game. And if you haven't already, we're at the middle of the video right now. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It legit takes two seconds to hit that notify bell so you never miss a banger upload. And like the video, man. I'd really appreciate it. Now for the audio, okay? For the audio, we do use Boost Low. This is easily the best. Um, audio mix you can have for footsteps man. I'm telling you right now There is no better audio mix than boost low if you don't have that on already man I highly recommend you put on boost low man. It helps a lot a ton Master volume you do is a hundred music. You don't want any of the music on man It's annoying anyway, and it's such a distraction. You don't want it dialogue volume so that's captain price talking um, You want that low because it actually can be Bit of a pain in the ass, you know, when you're in clutch situation, you've got that loud voice talking. You definitely don't want that on. Effects volume, you want that of 100, of course. For, you know, done shot reloads. Um, juggernaut music to say was in music again. Now this is preferable preference. Um, hit marker is classic. I think it sounds sexy. Uh, it sounds absolutely sexy. I did used to use Modern Warfare, but I use classic now because it's absolutely amazing. The mono audio is disabled. Voice chat is enabled so you can talk to people. With voice chat, uh, default uh, communication device uh, for voice chat device. Um, the microphone activation mode is push to talk. Um, you know, so I just press V on my um, keypad and that is how I can talk to people in game chat. Um, open mic recording threshold is 3.16. Voice chat volume is 120. Um, the microphone volume is at 100. Voice chat effect is at no effect. Um, war tracks is a passion dial disabled and war tracks volume is at 100. Alright, now without further ado, let's get right onto the control settings, the most important part of the video in my opinion. Now, for the control settings, I do use tactical because you slide with, you know, the right stick, you push that down, it's a slide, you double tap that to slide cancel, you look like a sweat. Alright, I know you want to look like a sweat, man, that's why you're watching the video. Definitely, definitely use tactical. Stick layout preset is at default. We don't use, you know, none of that, no, we don't use any of that stuff. Um, Invert vertical um, look is the same. Dead zone is 0 0.08. That's personal preference right there. If you've got stick drift, you know, you put it up. If you've got a very bad stick drift, you put it down. If you don't really even have a stick drift. Um, now, this is all pre you do. Don't don't copy this, right? It's just going to change your... Just stick with your sensitivity. If you don't like it, put it up a bit. Put it, you know, low a bit. For my sense, I do use 10, 10 horizontal and vertical. Okay? That's my sense. ADS sensitivity multiplayer is 0 0.75. ADS sensitivity um, multiplayer high zoom is 0 0.75. Aim response curve type is standard. I think this is the best aim response, man. This is without question. All right, you standard. Some people do use linear and dynamic. I think standard is the best, bro. Stick with standard, in my opinion. Controller vibration, you definitely want that off, man. It's just another distraction that's annoying when you're playing the game. You don't want your controller to vibrate, all right? Aim assist is that standard as well. Scale aim assist with FOV, you definitely want that to see bro, because FOV is so overpowered, all right? And you don't want the aim assist to be ruined because of the FOV, because the players do look a lot smaller with FOV, so that means the aim assist will be a lot worse, all right? Weapon mount activation will be ADS plus melee. The weapon mount movement is um, enabled. Aim down sight behavior is hold. Steady aim behavior is hold. Um, hold because you know you don't want to. Um, what's it called? You want to hold it down, right? You don't want to just tap and then it's just holding there, right? You want to hold it down and then when you release, it will release. All right, that sounds re really weird, bro. Cut that out, bro. Um, for the use reload behavior, we do use contextual tap. For the depleted ammo weapon switch, we do use enabled. Um, armor plate behavior, you apply wall, so you can just hold down Y, um, hold down Y once for like legit one second, and then let go and it applies all plates. I did used to have apply one, and that was annoying because you'd actually have to put like your index finger on the Y and hold it down when you're running out of situations to put on all those plates. So definitely put apply all. For the slide behavior, we did use tap because you don't want to use hold because then you have to hold to slide, right? You just, you just want to tap down on the right stick once for that tactical and it's a slide, it's perfect. Um, for the auto move forward is disabled, automatic sprint is enabled, you want to look sweaty out there man and you want to slide a lot more often. All right, so automatic sprint, you just hold down the left stick and you just start sprinting, you don't want it off because then you have to double tap the left stick to start sprinting, all right? Automatic tactical sprint actually does take a while to get used to, it took me about, what, a week or two to get used to man. Um, and I play this game every day, so 
a week or two. If you don't play it every day, it'll probably take you a month. I don't, it depends, man. It really does depend. The vehicle camera recenter is on enabled. Parachute auto deploy is disabled, so you, you don't want your parachute to deploy when you're in very big situations and you're really, you're not even uh, high from the ground. You're really low. You don't want to, you don't want to parachute, man. Disable that stuff, all right? And that is the settings. We've gone through the settings. This is all the count stuff. Um, or personal preference once again. These are the best settings. Uh, these are the best settings in Warzone Season 5, man. If you haven't already, that took a lot of energy out of me, alright? I gave you guys the best settings. So drop a like, man. I really, really appreciate it. Drop a like. Drop a subscribe, man. We're bangers like this every single day. Guys, in the next video.